Good morning, Bitcoins! Today is Thursday, June 12th, 2014, at 2.33 p.m. in Atlanta, Georgia. And now for a mad Bitcoins. Bitcoin in the Beltway fundraiser update. More than 33 donors have donated more than 2.89 Bitcoins towards our goal of 6 Bitcoins to send Chris Ellis to D.C. Woohoo! Thanks to everyone who's been donating, spreading the link, and photoshopping. Together, we will bring Chris across the pond to Bitcoin in the Beltway. Here are today's mad bits. Bitcoin prices are down due to the Silk Road Bitcoin sale, with Google Finance reporting a last of 581, a high of 619, and a low of 550. Ron Paul coin is at 24 cents a coin, Litecoin at $10.09. Bitcoin price falls below 600 as US government prepares for 30,000 Bitcoin sell-off. I know the market is selling because this means more Bitcoins will be on the market, so we'll need an equal rise in demand to keep the price current, and they're betting that other people will be selling too, so we'll see a dip. But really this is good news. This is the reduction of uncertainty. Everyone knew that the government was going to do this, and now we know how. In nine 3,000 Bitcoin tranches to the highest bidder of a very controlled auction. You can bet that the Winklevi ETF and the second market ETF will be there, as well as Coinbase, etc. The people who will buy 3,000 Bitcoins at one time will not dump them on the open market. This is a net gain, long term. Sexio slow to respond as fears of 51% attacks spread. Again, this is really a non-issue. A mining pool that has performed a 51% attack would create a second blockchain and be able to double spend. Then it would be detected and everyone would return to the main blockchain, cutting them off. So why would you waste millions of dollars in mining equipment for one brief moment of double spending? You wouldn't. Sexio won't, and neither will any other mining pool that wants to stay in business. It's called theoretical because it's not going to happen. And if it does, it doesn't matter. New alternative cryptocurrency aims to improve Tor network. Torcoin has recently been announced in an attempt to monetize the creation of Tor exit nodes and to pay users money for bandwidth. This is a great idea and another exciting moment for cryptocurrency. The Detroit Free News Treat BTC as Foreign Currency the Detroit News joins the side of Bitcoin, saying that the IRS's rules are onerous and antiquated. Making users pay tax every time they change in their Bitcoins for fiat is ridiculous and nonsensical. It's the money of the internet, and the internet is a foreign country. It's just as simple as that. Until next time, this has been Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins? Mad Bitcoins. I'm a question wrapped inside an enigma. Get inside your slave one, find your home and signal. From Endor to Hoth, Ripley to Spock, I'll find what you want, but there's gonna be a cost. Say, my name is Boba Fett. You know my shit is tight. You start acting right, y'all frozen carbon night. Got telescopic sights, flame throws on my wrist. You still don't get the gist. Spike boots are made to kick. Targets are made to hit. You think I give a shit? Your mama is a bitch. I'll see you in the Sarlacc pit. <laughs>